This is the EPC review page. Note that the page layout is divided into three components. Document Viewer, which comprises the bulk of the page, the Review Toolbar located above the document, and the Review Panel at the far right. When the page opens, the Pan tool is selected automatically, allowing the user to navigate along the document as needed. By default, the system displays a 1x view to show users the full document. Reviewers can zoom into the document to see the details up close by either 1. using the dedicated zoom buttons on the review panel, or 2. scrolling the wheel on their mouse. Let's go over the review toolbar. The toolbar buttons are split up in three smaller sections. File tools, which allow reviewers to access other files, navigate a document, save changes, and even add digital certificates. Analysis tools, which let users measure distances, calculate areas and volumes, draw radii, and calculate angles. And drawing tools, which let reviewers draw markups and add stamps to a document as necessary. The third component is the review panel, which is also split into three parts. From top to bottom, these are the review data panel at the top, which shows document information, the comment list panel in the center, which shows comments on the current document, and the document layers below, which can be turned off to be hidden from view. Using these components, let's go over how to conduct a basic review. Using the navigation tools, select a portion of the document to review. Any markups drawn in EPC will use the current selections in the two settings located just below the drawing tools label. These control color selection and opacity. To change the current color selection, click on the red icon and select a new option from the drop-down menu. To change the opacity, click on one of the three opacity icon swatches. Now select a markup tool. Choices include draw square, polygon, circle, cloud, as well as adding lines for callouts. Let's select draw square and now place a markup on the review document. Note that the selected settings will apply until the reviewer changes these settings. Now let's add a callout for the markup. By combining selections and tools, any number of useful markups are possible. Now let's add a comment. Head over to the review panel, click the add button, navigate back to the document, and click on the desired location to see the comment form pop up. Input basic comment information and add text in the reviewer comment field. Alternatively, reviewers can use the Add Standard button to access a standard comment library if the agency has populated the library ahead of time. In this case, select a comment to insert. Review and or edit as needed and save. Comment tags are placed in the location selected on the document and comments can be seen by hovering over the tags. To edit a comment after you've created it, right-click on the tag and select Edit Comment. To move a comment, right-click on the tag and select Reposition Comment Tag. What about adding measurements? To take a measurement, First, users must calibrate the tool. Do so by using a known measurement. Input the distance and click OK. This makes adding measurements easy. Just select a desired tool and start drawing to have EPC calculate the measurement for you. Hover the cursor over the drawn measurement to have the calculation appear. EPC also supports reviewing multi-page documents. Using EPC's thumbnail viewer makes navigating through multi-page documents easy, and users can either click to open another page or use the selection checkboxes to open multiple pages at once. Note that the thumbnail viewer is pinnable. It can be moved freely across the screen or be pinned to the left-hand side of the review page as needed. Document bookmarks are also accessible from here. But what if you want to compare multiple documents? There are several options to compare documents within EPC, including side-by-side -side and overlay built-in. First, click Open Document from the toolbar. 
either select another document to compare against, or keep it and select another version from the second dropdown. Choose how to open, either same window, new window, paired window, or overlay layer. Let's do overlay layer. Notice how the overlay layer has a color selector which can be changed. Click open and both images appear overlaid directly on top of each other for easy comparison. Reviewers can also select new overlay colors from the document layers panel on the lower right. Alternatively, reviewers can also open a side-by-side -side comparison using the Open Document tool. And these can be viewed either on the same screen or on multiple monitors at once. To complete a review, reviewers can place stamps directly onto a document. Click on the Stamp button and select a stamp from the drop-down menu. Place where desired and save. Next, reviewers simply head to the Review panel and click on Status. Then select whether they approve or reject a document. After reviewing all documents, click on Log to head to the Comment Log and generate a Corrections List report that's ready to send to the applicant. Notice that with a single click, the system generates a corrections report already formatted with all of your existing comments. EPC is great for revisions, too. When revisions come in, comments made in previous versions are brought forward, allowing reviewers to ensure their comments have been addressed. Once they are, it's easy to right-click the comment tag and choose Close to denote that the issue has been resolved. That makes resubmittals even faster. Closed comments can then be filtered out of new corrections list reports that are sent back to applicants.